course something real fast. What up, dog? That thing that my sister's trying to do? I'm not even kidding. It's that bad. Shout out to all the pair. Welcome to Crosby High School's AP Calculus class. Today, we're going to be talking about slope fields. A slope field is basically where you draw a whole bunch of small little slopes to get a general idea of what the original graph looks I'm like. Laughing. Slope fields allow you to find out what an original equation may look like when they may be difficult to integrate. To do a slope field, you need an equation that tells you the slope. Yeah. The derivative tells you the slope. The equation for a derivative is the differential equation. Yeah. Our differential equation is derivative of y with respect to x equals 2x. To create a slope field, you plug individual points into the differential equation and graph the resulting slopes on those points. All right, so first we're gonna start with the simple one. The derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2x. First, we're gonna take an individual point, this time one comma one, and plug it into the equation. So since there's no y's, we're only going to plug the x-coordinate one in. So we'll have two, times 1, which equals 2. So that means that the slope at the, our point, 1 comma 1, will be 2. So you're going to draw a little line with a slope of 2. So because this differential equation only has one variable, any time that you have an x of 1, the answer will always be 2. Any time you have an x of 2, then the slope will always be 4. The y coordinate doesn't really matter, which means that any point along x equals 1 will have a slope of 2. So you can go through and draw slopes of 2 on all points where x is equal to 1, just like this. To finish the slope field, plug in the points and graph the corresponding slopes. All right, so now we're going to finish drawing our slope field. We're going to plug one point from each of the x's in. For negative 4, we'll plug it in right here. 2 times negative 4 is equal to negative 8. So we're going to draw a slope at about negative 8. Pretty steep. Next one, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Just a little bit less steep. Next is 2 times negative 2, which is a negative 4 slope. Next, we have 2 times negative 1, which is a negative 2 slope. And then, we have 2 times 0, which is 0, which is a 0 slope right here. Next, we've already done 1. Now we're going to go to 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Now we have 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So we have a slope of 6. Now we have the point 0, comma 4. So we'll plug 4 in. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So we'll have a slope of 8. Yeah. With this graph, we can see the general shape of the original equation. Okay. From this slope field, we can tell that the original graph was a parabola. Now we're going to graph the slope field of a differentiable equation with two variables. All right, so now we're going to create a slope field with the differential equation with two variables, which means that when we plug it in, we have two variables to plug into, not just one. Let's use the same point, one comma one. So we have one for the y, one for the x. One over one is equal to one. So we'll have a one slope at that point. Now let's pick another point, two comma one. So we have a one for the y and a two for the x, which will give us a slope of one half. Now let's use the point zero, 1. We have zero, we have one for the y and zero for the x. Now we have undefined, which means that there is no slope there. So we're gonna leave those blank. Now let's move on to negative one, one, which means that we have a y of one and an x of negative one, which will give us a slope at this point of negative one. Repeat the same process for all of the points. All right, so we see here that, that at y equals zero, 
our differential equation will always equal zero because zero divided by any number is equal to zero, which means that on the graph, you can find where the zero slopes are. Because at y is equal to zero, the differential equation always equals zero, the slope is always equal to zero at these points, which means that you can draw in a zero slope at all these points. This is the finished slope field for the differentiable equation y over x. Now let's go over the homework. You have 723 problems. Have fun. Yeah. Bloopers. Mmm, good at slope field do you think you are? Mmm, ready are you? What do you are ready? Mmm. So you think you can't do slope fields? I find your lack of faith disturbing. Mmm, scared of slope fields you are? Mmm, fear leads to hate. Hate leads to anger. Anger leads to suffering. Mmm.